Hi, this is George Cow, and today I want to talk a bit about pricing. You have probably seen pricing out there that is often in the 99s, 97, 49, 47. It's pretty mainstream by now. Uh, you go to the store, things are 199 or 999. They're uh, rarely straightforward pricing that's you know $10 and $2. And so a lot of service providers, even those who want to be honest, and ethical in their practices have taken those on because they think, well, that's normal, isn't it? So instead of charging, you know, $150, I'll charge $147. Uh, instead of charging um, $2,000, I'll charge $1,997, $1,997. So let me tell you why I, uh, I don't do that myself and I would hope that you'll consider not doing it as well. What that is doing well, there's a lot of mainstream marketing practices that are that are not ethical and transparent. Uh, there's a lot of manipulation going on. That if you knew you were being manipulated, you would be, you wouldn't like it. Uh, if you knew your loved ones were being manipulated, you wouldn't like it. Pri psychological pricing. You you might want to look that up on Wikipedia. It's the manipulation of consumers based on pricing. And so 99s and 97s, 49s and 47s are, are, are that. When they tell you something is $99 instead of $100, they are tricking your brain to make you think, oh, it's not $100 because it's easier for our brain to know our budget, to say, oh, do I have $100 to spend on this? Do I, you know, they don't want you to think about your budget. They don't want, they, they want to kind of short circuit your brain to not think about your budget, not think about whether this is a wise purchase truly and truly what you need, but they just want you to think, wow, what a great deal. It's $47. It's not $50, uh, $45 rather than 50, 95 instead of a hundred. Okay. What? So I would, I, I stopped doing that a couple years ago and yes, there, I am tricking fewer people as a result. Hopefully I'm not tricking anybody now. And yes, fewer people will make impulse purchases of my services instead of in the past where I, I um, in part thrived on impulse purchases. Like, oh, wow, what a great deal. You know, it's not $2,000. It's, it's 1947, 1997. Okay, so know that it comes, that kind of pricing um, scheme comes from a background, a history of manipulation. And those of us who wish to be, uh, to know that, spiritual growth and values is more important than profits will hopefully make a decision take a stand to say no I'm not going to do that kind of pricing anymore I'm going to be straightforward with people I'm going to charge $200 $500 $450 $2000 instead of those those um, shady numbers okay so that's the first thing I want to say the second thing is a lot of times your customer doesn't know what they should be paying for your services so there is such a thing as honest price education. So you can tell your client, okay, my services are typically somewhere between this range and that range. And due to my experience in the market and uh, due, due to my experience with this expertise or due to my uh, um, certifications, accreditations, due to the results I'm able to get from my clients, this is why I charge this amount instead of the lowest amount. And there are people who charge higher than me. So uh, basically, when you honestly educate your client about your prices and why they are such, if, if such education is needed, if they ask you, if they don't ask you, they're fine to pay your prices, great. But if they ask, oh, um, wow, it's expensive, or how come you charge this much, or then you educate them based on your position in the market and based on the value of your services, okay? the kind of results you create for your, for your clients and how, much, how worthwhile that is. So I hope this is an interesting and helpful discussion about price education, dishonest and honest. And um, until the next video, and I always open, I'm open to your questions and comments as well. So until the next video, I wish you well.